So I grab underneath the middle, slide it up, fold the table up, dance. Have a little dance. Howdy, I'm Byron and this is Robin Beck and we're the owners of Campo Vans. And we've uh, been camping around this United States for about 30 years and we've camped in a number of different vehicles such as a Citroen wagon, a couple of trucks, some Vanigans. Here we are now in Sprinter Vans. After all those 30 years, this is kind of a culmination, this particular rig and so... Welcome to our dream van. So babe, what makes this the dream rig? Years. Well, in 2015, you built out one 4x4. We used it really well, and it was, at the time, our dream rig. But after camping in it for several years, I think we felt like there were a few things missing or that could be changed that would make the next one more livable and a little more fun. So I think that's what makes this dreamy. It has all those elements, the fun, the comfy. The um, colors. Colors, yeah. What makes this fan better for you? I think there's a number of things and we'll obviously get into it a little, but one of them's an interior shower. I think that's a game changer. The modular way that that works, just for me, after a bike ride or maybe being out in the surf, it's just wonderful to come back to a warm shower. And you've added some equipment on here that you really love, like the light bars. Of course, you gotta have lights, you know? <laughs> the poor deer are gonna get blinded. <laughs> that's right, let's go. Yeah, first big difference here, is the seating. We decided to go for a Shieldman seat and the reason being the first van that we ever purchased it was sight unseen. I sat in the seat and it didn't fit. I think they're made for massive men towing cargo or something but these seats fit me like a glove. Excuse me honey so they can see how it fits me like a glove. It's beautiful in the sense of how it adjusts to a person's body. So this knob here pulls this part out and in, so it lengthens for somebody's longer legs. This can be adjusted, so the side can be pulled in and pulled out, and, then, and the headrest moves. And they heat up. I kind of long to have some seating where I could look out at a view. And the two seating forward, wouldn't allow us to kind of shift towards the grand opening, if you will, of this picture window. After a lot of research and working with our wonderful CAD person, he and Byron came up with this design that we are really excited about, and it does a lot of different things. Okay, position number one. We, we can sit like this, and we're facing each other. Play cards, yep. eat dinner. Oh, we have a view. Isn't this nice? It's a great babe? view. Look at this amazing ocean view over this here. This is great. I love this. <sighs> nice little read. We have seating for four people. There you go. Wherever you want to go. There it is. One, two, three, four. It's genius. This is the best, I know. The other great thing about this table, it's a lagoon table, is it can come up or down as well. So as soon as I loosen this, I can slide it down, I can slide it up, swings around, it can go to you over there, it can come to me. So it looks like I'm sitting on this nice couch and beautiful cushion, but everything in this van has to be multifunctional and the seat is as well. So let me show you what I mean by that. Under the seat here is our porta potty. And for some of you uh, out there, the porta potty is very important, like it is for me. It's a Thetford 2.5 gallon press flush. This is the flush right here, and it has a removable cassette on the bottom that we use really simply for number one. How do we use it for number two? Well, this is an important question that I'm asked quite often by especially women. Because I have a hard time going outside and digging a hole somewhere, I do my thing in the plastic bag, I tie it up and I put it in a container. This eliminates having to put a black water tank underneath the vehicle. Something in this rig that was really important to me was color. Our last one was a little darker, a little more utilitarian. I wanted something that was gonna be fun and popped color and just kind of said adventure in, in every aspect. So this was added as just a pure design element and then it turned into a functional element when we made hooks that can be taken off and put different places so you can see we have a hat here, we hang wet towels here, or washcloths after we use them. But we have our water back here. We could put jackets back there, other things. Obviously a full-size sink. This clearly was for Robin so she could wash her hair. 
The other parts that we really love adding on almost every van we do is this extension here that gives you another 12 by 12 for your kitchen area for prep. Yeah, there's the fold-out table here. This vehicle has 40 gallons of fresh water, 11 gallons of gray water. And one of the things I've come across are these little oven mats that most of you are familiar with if you're bakers. They usually go in a pan and you put cookies on them or roast vegetables, but we have found that they are so nice and sticky. They stick on the counter and then the things that are on top of them stick to them. So they're colorful. I can move them and put them wherever I want. It protects the counters a little bit more. So this is just a little hint. You can get them at Costco. The drawers are all very different. Like here's our little game drawer, which goes right under the sink. So I love the, oh, I guess I have tea in here too. And then we have some towels. We have dishware. We have our fun little cup. And then this one is more like bowls and pans. After camping for so many years, we have whittled down to the exact things that we actually need on a trip. One thing that you're gonna note is this is our trash area, but it also doubles as a step. It holds up to 300 pounds, so I can step on it, and it'll hold me, it'll hold that weight as we get up into bed. We'll show you that later. Um, there's the trash, and the other thing we have here is our induction cooktop. Plug it right in here, and that is if we wanna cook inside, if there's inclement weather, you know, band-aids, same thing, just, uh, there's just so much room. I have, I, at first I thought, oh, I don't have that many drawers, but I have plenty of space and plenty of room. Another drawer here for things. Another drawer here, back here. Oh, and then look at this fridge. Isotherm 130. It fits so much in here and it ha we have ice for the first time ever. So we can have our drink at night. We can have our cocktail and have ice. That's really fun. I mean, this is feeling like a luxury condo. It's just our one little overhead cabinet. We have all our coffee gear in here. We have Via if we're on the road. Like I can do that in the microwave while we're driving. Don't tell anyone. We have these fun little lights. I guess we'll talk about that later, but these are that magic lights. I like these. Ooh, look what just happened back there. While I was talking, a shower was made. Well, first of all, all the shower gear fits in here, which is our storage box underneath. So we fold it up, put it down below during the day. This is a wonderful built shower curtain. We added the hooks on top, four hooks to give it some sturdiness. And while we're taking a shower, we turn the fan on blowing down so that the curtain doesn't stick to you. And I'll just get inside, kind of show you how it's done. You grab the water here, turn it on, you're taking a shower. Obviously, I'm not going to get naked for you. We'd get more views. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So as you can see, it's a foldable tub that when we're done, we let the wind blow it out, dry it out, fold it back up. We put it back in our storage box. It's actually quite brilliant. Here's the drain we added from your good friend, Amazon. A few things I want to mention while Byron's packing up the shower is that it has a quick release here. It has hot and cold water. You can use it outside as well to rinse off surfboards, pets, small children. And our hot water system I might mention is a Rixen and uh, it also heats up the cab of our rig just beautifully. So this is how the shower pan holds up like that and we put it down in our storage pan. done okay so let's pretend that we've both taken showers and now we're ready to go to bed so i guess the next thing we do is deploy the bed which is uh these two clips right here and then a lower here and then the mattress comes out right like this and there are four pillows, a Kleenex box, sheet, comforter, mattress. All of it is here. The bed is made. We're ready to go to sleep. Oh, isn't this lovely? Oh, full <sighs> six foot four, head to foot. It's nice. A little window view here. Yeah, we want a little more air. We just open the window a little. Oh, you want some lights for reading? Yeah, I kind of like a reading light right now. Yeah, go ahead and push your button over there. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to push the button. I can push mine here. Oh, we've we left red them red light. for evening. Yeah. Or we can turn the white ones on. We got that. And then I have a little phone charger right here on the light, too. That's super handy. But I love this little thing. See, I can see through in the morning when I look out here and Byron's making coffee and I can <laughs> see through the little crack. Or if we want something out of our campo bag, we just reach up and, That's you know, right. I put my I glasses get here at night. I want to get dressed in the morning. I take my clothes out right here and I can kind of get dressed. We want a fan on here. How about the AC, babe? Oh, 
I almost forgot. I, I don't yeah. know how you could. This vent right here is for our 12 volt onboard air conditioning that has 400 lithium amp hours to run it. Probably will run six to seven hours on low and it's a beautiful addition to chill down when you're in the Arizona desert. The mattress is made with a fold in the middle. So I grab underneath the middle, slide it up, fold the table up, lock it in place. And then this gives us room to do what we really love to do, which is dance. Have a little dance. Mm -hmm. What other mm -hmm. band do you know that has a dance floor built in? There's nothing. Not too many that I know. Of. No, no. I mean, look at this space back here. I can just do a full spin, drop her down. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> You can see we've got some storage in the back here. We actually went to the container store and matched some sizes and some of these containers work brilliantly. And This is my pantry right here. Yeah. We keep our food in here. These are the back window curtains we kind of stuff in here. And then other miscellaneous items. We have a vacuum here that we use. I've got a pump here for the bikes. Now I'm going to get into some of the details. And like I said earlier, this is our water storage in here. And then, oh, hey, look, we put some shoe holders in here and that works brilliantly. This is our heater that heats our water and heats our air using the diesel fuel. Honey, it says we have 60% water. That's about right. Yeah. We only use 40% yeah. and we had a shower. We washed dishes. Wow. Yeah. That's right. going in. <laughs> going down, we have our 12 volt uh, cruise and comfort air conditioner. And then down here is just basically our electrical system that we have. And we use the Victron system. Look how labeled it is. That's so nice. Yeah. All I know is that when I push a button, I get the lights on, or I get the AC on, or I can plug in my phone. Lights. Magic lights, we call those. We have two fans in this vehicle. We like the idea of drawing air in and pushing it out so that if you're in a urban environment, you don't have to open windows. Everything's done on top. It's kind of a more quiet way to do it. We just like to stuff our jackets in here, which is nice, or hats, jackets, towels, window covers. The other thing I'd like to say, we have this L track, and I know that's in a lot of vans, but the thing that we use the L track for up top are these campo bags. And I, I really can't say enough about these because it comes off the wall out into my house back on the wall and then it's accessible have all of this this just sits down this is our newest which is like full leather i love the leather and then of course my comfort bunny is in here and i had to bring him out because i just love this bunny we call this our bar cabinet because we often have bottles in there as you've probably seen the l track that is put into the floors at some point in time we're going to have some grandkids and we want to be able to belt them into a proper seat. Travois makes a seat that fits on seven inches on center and it unclips, slides forward, and we can put three seats in here and we can put six people in here and drive around to Los Angeles airport or do whatever we want and then unclip the seats and take them out like we have it right now where we go camping. So what we have here is an amp step. I really had to talk Robin into this one. I don't know why, but she was afraid it wasn't wide enough to really step down on. She's moved into liking it. It works brilliantly. So out here, we said we have this folding table, which again, just folds up like this, locks into place. There you go. We've added little LED clearance lights. It actually just accents the ground to give you some sense of where you're walking if it's dark outside. Another one that is going on every van is the F45 awning by Fiamma. This is, as you can see, an outdoor room, if you will. I mean, we've set our chairs up. It adjusts up and down. It's fabulous. The F45 is the way to go. We've done a lot with Al vans, and this particular box is a new version. This is their expedition box. Put the hatchet in here. We put extra cords, our hose for filling our up stove. the tanks, our yeah. stove, as well as the one-up bike rack. We love those. They're just so solid. We can put two e-bikes up here. We do take the batteries off. This is a rugged design concept rack. And this one actually carries our ZAMP solar panels, each carrying 90 watts of solar. The L-Track system that we have inside the car, uh, Rugged Designs decided to put a couple up here so that you could put these clips in here, use them as tie downs over things in the back of the rack here. So as I'm climbing down here, you can kind of see how we use this back ladder. This is an Alvan's rear ladder tire carrier. It has about six steps on it, which is fabulous. You walk down to here, step on the tire, 
grab these knobs on the outside here, walk the rest of the way down. We had this designed around a curved 54 inch LED lighting system. Down below here, Baja Design Lights Van Compass Brackets. Again, these are fabulous because they now shoot out here to see any kind of deer on the side of the road. We went to Agile Off-Road for our wheel and tire upgrade, as well as the shocks and springs with Method wheels, EF Goodrich tires, and then on the back, we have the Fox shock with 4,500 pound leaf springs in the rear to carry the load. It has been a fabulous upgrade for us to not only carry the weight of a build, but also just the ride and the overall handling of the vehicle. We're just thankful that you all took the time to come by and check out our build. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun with this vehicle. It's uh, really a unique build and we're really proud of it. And so we say to you, if, if you're out on the road, you see our van, blink your lights at us. If we're by the side of the road, hanging out, stop by, say hi. Or reach out to us online. Give us a howdy, thumbs up, and uh, we look forward to maybe doing a build for you guys as well. Thank you guys.